Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the area of a sector in terms of pi. So to do this then, you need to know the formula for the area of a sector. So it's theta over 360 times pi times r squared, where theta is the angle inside the sector and r is the radius of the sector. So we'll be doing this without a calculator today. Okay, so let's have a look at our first sector then. Okay, so we've got an inside angle of 80, so that's theta, and we've got a radius of 3 centimetres. So if we substitute this into the formula, which I've already written down, so it's 80 over 360 times pi times 3 squared. So what we can do then is, first of all, simplify this fraction. So 80 and 360 are in the 40 times tables. So we can divide the top and bottom by 40. So that will give us 2 ninths. And then we times in that by pi. And 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. And then all we need to do now is simplify this. So what we can do is multiply 2 ninths by 9. Oh. So we can write 9, uh, sorry, as 9 over 1. Okay. And then we can multiply the top numbers of our, of our fraction together to give us 18. And 9 times 1 on the bottom is 9. And we put the pi at the end. And then 18 divided by 9 will give 2, so our answer would be 2 pi centimetres squared. So let's move on to our second example then. So our formula then this time is above. So it's theta over 360 times pi times r squared. So theta this time is 300, so that's the angle inside the sector. And our radius is 8. So again, if we substitute these into our formula, so it'd be 300 over 360 times pi times 8 squared. So 300 over 360, we can divide the top and bottom by 60. So that will give us 5 over 6. And then we've got times pi times... 8 squared is 64, so we can now multiply 5 to 6 by 64, if we just write 64 is 64 over 1. Okay, so 5 times 64, let me just work that out on the side of the page, so that's uh, 20, 6 fives are 30 plus 2 is 32. So that will give us uh, 320, 6 times 1 is 6, pi, and then we, I think this one cancels down again, uh, we can definitely divide it by 2, that gives us 160 over 3, and I don't think 3 goes into 160, so that's as far as it goes. So that is our final answer. So make sure you like and subscribe guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.